Hello, in this video I would like to introduce you to an equipment that uh, could be useful to evaluate the filtration efficiency of uh, surgical masks or uh, masks or respirators that are used to, for example, to prevent the spreading of uh, coronavirus. Um, the, the equipment is very simple and is based on the use of a common nebulizator that is uh, uh, used domestically to deliver drugs to the lung. And uh, in this case, uh, I used uh, a nebulizator that is based on a mechanical pump. So there is also a chamber. The nebulizator is uh, uh, as a, a component is a chamber where, where you put the fluid. In this case, I use as a test liquid the saline solution. Then uh, there are elastic rings. And uh, for a quantitative evaluation, you need uh, an analytical balance. Uh, regards the theory of the method, uh, the theory is that uh, the nebulizator will uh, need uh, uh, a stream of uh, aerosol, aerosol particles, and those particles uh, are um, could be used to test the filtration efficiency of uh, the mask or the tissue or the respirator. And uh, there are literature data where people uh, measured the particle size of the aerosol emitted by an nebulizator and they found that it's generally compressed in a range of uh, 1 to 8 microns. That is a range uh, uh, useful for the evaluation of the masks and in fact is used also in official methods. Now we see the qualitative evaluation. To run a qualitative analysis is uh, very simple. You turn on the instrument. There is the emission of the aerosol. You put the, the towel on it this way. You see that uh, there is uh, some um, filtering effect, but it's not in this case, it's not, uh, let's say, total uh, surgical mask. And I see that uh, apparently all the, um, um, all the vapors are, uh, are, are filtered. So, So now we see uh, what we need to do a quantitative analysis. Regards the quantitative test, you need to, to put uh, um, an accurate amount of liquid. Uh, I use uh, five milliliters of liquid into the chamber. Then you, you place uh, the material, uh, the filtering material you want to evaluate. Uh, I keep it, uh, I seal it with uh, the elastic ring and then I wait uh, all the stuff. So then I perform uh, the analysis for two minutes and uh, during this time uh, some, uh, um, some aerosol will be lost uh, through the filter and then I wait the, um, uh, after the test the um, the chamber again and in this way I can um, I can understand how much uh, um, liquid passed through the filter and this um, according to the formula I will uh, show you now will allow you to evaluate a percent of filtering efficiency of the material for uh, masks uh, evaluated for the quantitative test, I used a classic uh, surgical mask, an FFP2 mask, another mask that uh, was uh, self-made by my daughter, Diani, made with unknown uh, materials. Okay, this mask is a, and, uh, a simple uh, kitchen towel. We see the formula we used for calculations. Uh, First of all, I run the analysis without any, any mask, and in a time of two minutes, I measure how many <coughs> aerosol is lost from the solution. 
and this is the let's say the zero efficiency reference uh, is L I call it L those are grams then there is uh, I repeat the measure uh, inserting the filtering material uh, into the chamber and after the two minutes of test I measure how much uh, fluid is lost and this is uh, S uh, so um, a filtration efficiency in percent is calculated as in the formula here we have some uh, results uh, expressed in terms of the filtration efficiency of the four masks four materials I tested first of all we see the FFP2 respirator that uh, achieved a score of 87 percent then we have a surgical mask that scored 84 slightly less then we have the my daughter uh, mask reusable that uh, gained the score of 75 and then the tower that is only 45 mm. okay so uh, the final consideration are that this, this method seems to be very simple, fast and, in, and inexpensive. It is easy to design experiments and to test materials. For example, you can design experiments changing the fluid uh, and you test uh, each uh, material you want. Uh, however, you have to consider that here with this means that you measure the filtration efficiency but not the easy of breathing or fits to the face okay thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want you can um, subscribe my channel maybe you are the first you will be the first so thank you very much again and bye bye